when the metal sodium and the non-metal chlorine combine. They form an ionic bond known as sodium chloride, or salt. Salt is used for many things, including improving the flavor of food and preserving food. When in a solution, it is also used for medical purposes, like gargling for sore throats, washing out eyes, and as a mild antiseptic for cleaning wounds. Salt has a melting temperature of 801 degrees Celsius, and is a very hard and brittle substance. Much like other ionic compounds, it does not conduct electricity in the solid state, but does so when in solution. For every two and a half grams of salt, there is one of sodium. Sodium can be found in many natural foods, but two foods with no sodium content are, not surprisingly, rice and fruit. Chicken, fish, and most vegetables have 0.1 gram, while beef and cow's milk have only 0.06 grams. One exception is silver beet, with a remarkably high amount for natural food, 0.7 grams. Processed foods have much greater sodium content. An average human needs 2 grams of sodium per day, and an exotic condiment like soy sauce finds itself with 7 grams of sodium per hundred. A meat pie, bread, and donuts are lower on the scale with 0.5 grams, but things like potato chips, 1 gram, ham, 1.1 gram, tomato sauce and sausages, 1.2 grams, Pickled olives, 2.3 grams, and salted nuts, 4 grams, are all things we see or eat in our everyday lives. Salinity is the occurrence of salt in groundwater and soil. Flora and fauna can tolerate only small amounts of salt. If there is too much, the creatures will die. When groundwater rises, it brings dissolved salt with it to the surface. This can lead to poor plant growth and reduce the productivity of agriculture. To reduce salinity levels, a number of organizations have been making better use of irrigation water, improving drainage on and under the surface of the land and sealing irrigation channels to prevent leakage. Completed.